What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your RPB25 portable Bluetooth speaker. So as you can see, it comes with the speaker itself, an aux cable, a lanyard, and a USB cable to charge your speaker. On top, you'll see a carry handle so we can carry the speaker around, and we can also attach the lanyard onto the carry handle. To do that, we're gonna feed the lanyard through like this. Then we can take the plastic end here and feed it through the loop. That we can tighten it up and now you'll see that the lanyard is secured to the speaker. This is cool because we can wear the speaker if we're carrying it around with a bunch of other things in our hand. You can also attach a carabiner to the lanyard if you want to strap it to your bag and you can also attach the carabiner right onto the carry handle itself. On the side here you'll see this rubber covering here that we can lift up to reveal the charging port, the USB input, the aux input, and the SD card input. If you're not using any of these ports, you'll want to be sure to use the rubber covering to keep them closed as this is what makes the speaker water resistant. So to charge your speaker, you're going to take the micro USB end of your charging cable and plug it right into the charging port here. Then you can plug the other end into a power brick to plug it into your wall. You can even plug it into a laptop or computer to charge it. And you can also plug it into the USB port of your car if you're taking it on the go. You'll know your speaker is charging when the LED above your charging port turns on. We also got the aux input that we can use with the included aux cable to plug in music sources like a tablet, laptop, etc. And after you plug it in, the speaker will automatically go into aux mode once it's powered on. We also got the USB input here to play music from a USB device, but it also acts as a power bank so we can use the speaker to charge our phone or tablet. You also just want to make sure your speaker is powered on when using it as a power bank. And lastly, we have the SD card input to play music from an SD card. To turn on our speaker, we're going to go to the other side and look for the power button here on the bottom. Once we press the power button, the speaker will automatically go into Bluetooth mode and search for a device to connect to. So I'm going to hold down the power button to turn it on. Bluetooth ready to pair. So now that it's looking for a Bluetooth device to connect to, I can take my smartphone or tablet, search for the device that reads RPB25, click on it to pair, Paired. And then you'll hear that sound letting you know your device is connected. Above the power button, we have the mode button to switch our speaker into different modes like radio, USB, aux, or Bluetooth. And the cool thing is when you switch back to the Bluetooth mode, it's automatically going to remember the last device that it connected to. You can also hold down the mode button to set your speaker into lock mode so that the other buttons like the pause, play, and volume buttons will become inactive. This is really good if you're using the speaker on the go while you're hiking, climbing, etc. And to unlock the speaker, all you're going to do is hold down the mode button again. Unlock mode. Above the mode button, we also have the play button to pause or play our music. And while our phone is connected to the speaker, we can use the play button to answer a phone call. You can also hold down the play button to unpair your mobile device from Bluetooth. And then you can hold it down again to repair your device to the speaker. You can also double press the play button to call the first person in your favorites list, which is a great emergency feature. Above the play button, we have the volume buttons. So you can use the plus and minus buttons to increase or decrease the volume for the speaker itself, but it does work independently from your phone. So you're gonna wanna use the volume notches on your phone to set it to about 75% to start. We can also long press the plus button to skip forward a track and long press the minus button to go back to the previous track. Now what's really cool is that if you had two RPB25s, you can link them together through TWS or True Wireless Stereo to have your music playing out of both speakers. To set that up, you'll want to make sure that your smartphone or tablet isn't connected to one of these speakers at first. If you are connected to one of your speakers, you can easily unpair by holding down the play button. So we'll want to make sure that both of our speakers are powered on by pressing the power button. Bluetooth ready to pair. Bluetooth ready to pair. Now that both of our speakers are turned on, we can go to one of our speakers and double press the power button. Paired. And after that, the speakers will automatically pair to each other. So then we can pair our phone or tablet to the speakers by going into the Bluetooth settings. Search for the device that reads RPB25. Click on it to pair. Paired. And after that, you'll know your device is connected to both speakers. 
So again, we can use the volume buttons on either speaker to set the overall volume for both speakers. And the volume for the speakers are gonna be independent from the volume on your phone. So you'll wanna be sure to set the volume on your phone to about 75% to start. So let's go ahead and hear how they both sound. Nice. Sounds really great with the both of them together. That's <laughs> sick. easily unpair the speakers from each other, you can hold down the play button on one of your speakers. Bluetooth unpaired. And after that, you'll be able to use just one of your speakers on its own. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your RPB25 portable Bluetooth speaker. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.